Well, what I think we're looking at here is that Jim Comey, Peter Strzok, and Lisa Page are going to be three names that are going to go down in infamy for causing irreparable harm to the FBI's reputation as an unbiased, nonpartisan institution. And, you know, in this country, lady justice is often depicted as wearing a blindfold. And what that blindfold is supposed to represent is an impartial justice system, one in which wealth or political affiliation doesn't have you treated differently than your fellow citizens. And in the case of what's going on here with these newly revealed text messages, they just simply reinforce what the president, A.G. Barr, and John Durham have been saying from the beginning, that this investigation started with no basis, it was likely illegal, and it should have never started in the first place and continued through the Trump presidency. You know, when you when you listen to Brennan talk about this and you listen to these guys defend themselves, though, they say that they they still believe that there was enough there to start these investigations, that this had to be looked into, that it looked so dirty, that there was all of this smoke. What's your response to that? I, I go with the people that have read the classified information, and that's A.G. Barr and John Durham. Yeah. And they have both publicly refuted uh, people like John Brennan and uh, even the I.G. Uh, Horowitz who came up with his report um, about a year ago, where he actually referred FBI officials for criminal prosecution. And one of those officials has actually been prosecuted. He was indicted. He pled guilty. And John Durham has uh, uh, recommended a prison sentence for him for about six months. So these are very serious uh, crimes that uh, the other side committed against the Trump campaign. And by extension, the American people, the American people want accountability, transparency, and justice. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it came after the election, but uh, it's never too late to get the truth out there. Yeah, I mean, you were you were spied on. Evidently, they had listened in on on phone calls that you had had with executives over at Fox News. Um, do you do you know which phone calls they're referring to? What did they learn from these calls? Well, look, uh, I, I've learned a lot about uh, my life uh, during my time on the Trump campaign based on these uh, declassified files, and I had. Uh, absolutely no idea that uh, basically upon uh, joining the, the Trump campaign, I had spies and uh, honeypots and recordings. And, and now uh, apparently my phone calls were being recorded uh, with people over at Fox and other people. So, uh, you know, I think uh, Jim Comey is starting to make uh, Hoover look like a choir boy when it comes to the actions that he was taking uh, again <laughs> and about offending American civil liberties. It happened to me. It could happen to anybody. And it happened to others on the campaign. And this is something that could worry all Americans. And uh, we shouldn't be divided along partisan lines regarding the malfeasance and this egregious uh, misconduct by the Comey FBI. Mm. Uh, there was another kind of uh, an eye-opening moment, I guess we should say, in the text as well. Uh, the agents had this exchange. Uh, one agent says about you, quote, his mom wasn't going to let him go to the FBI office to talk, but he went anyway. And then Peter Strzok replies, that's what you get for not listening to mom, and then gave the little <laughs> winky face there. Um, these guys were in really deep, looking at, the, looking at almost every aspect of your life. That feels pretty personal, I imagine. Look, uh, that's that's absolutely right. Uh, I just had I left the inauguration. I went to visit family, and I'm abruptly uh, stopped by these uh, two agents uh, while I actually was with family. So uh, they were, you know, intrusive, uh, very uh, keen on understanding every aspect of my life, even you know, pr uh, family matters. It looks like so. Uh, it's actually terrifying to think that uh, this could have happened in America. I mean, the yeah. FBI resembled more. So the KGB than uh, what we as Americans think the FBI should be, and that's a nonpartisan, unbiased, revered institution that basically safeguards uh, our rights and uh, preserves the Constitution, and that was completely tore up there. Is that true? Is that story true, though, what we just read there? Did your mom tell you not to go? <laughs> I think uh, they were a little smarter than I was uh, back then when they saw these uh, individuals coming towards uh, me and my family, and I just said, look, I have... Absolutely nothing to hide here. I'm here to help uh, whatever they need. And little did I know, uh, for months before that meeting, uh, I had phone calls recorded. Uh, the campaign was being spied on by at least 10 different people. So uh, it's just uh, an incredible story. And, uh, you know, we need all of this to be declassified. And the president's definitely making the right move, getting as much of this information out there for the American public to see exactly what happened in 2016. So we assure it never happens again. Yeah.